There are very few countries in the world that place happiness as the ultimate goal, but the tiny Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan measures prosperity by gauging its citizens' happiness levels, not GDP. It's Monday morning and eight-year-old Jamfel is getting ready for school. Jamfel studies at a school in Wuchu, a 20-minute walk from her home. I start my school doing meditation and prayers and when we do <clears throat> when we pray we respect our king country and we, our religions and we promote our culture The school in Wuchu was a pilot where educating gross national happiness was first introduced in Bhutan It aspires to produce healthy intellectual students who grow up to be happy and productive citizens A typical day at the school begins with morning prayers, something which is part and parcel of Bhutan's Buddhist traditions. Students learn these spiritual values early. Our actually main aim is to make the children uh, happy in the school. In the past, uh, we have uh, quite a number of children who are actually indulged in the drugs and uh, even taking kaini, alcohol. Uh, we have a lot of problems in the past, a like, few years back. Like. But now we found that uh, this has uh, drastically come down. Like. In addition to the course syllabus, students learn how to train their minds through meditation. The meditating can last anywhere from one to several minutes, teaching students how to unwind and relax. Human values like sharing, respect for the environment and community service are also instilled. This uh, is a Educating for GNH is a novel initiative which is not very different from the child-friendly school model. Uh, this is an approach, of, a, approach to holistic uh, development of a child. But teaching happiness doesn't end in school. Parents are also key. After this change, kids started, you know, uh, they stopped taking junk foods. Then they come home and teach us how to, you know, eat organic vegetables and then how to help each other. They give us so much of advice. Now. It's a philosophy which is inspiring other countries to follow suit, notably Finland, which has a partnership with some of Bhutan's schools.